Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies and my name's Angela. I'm the crazy poppy lady and welcome back to another book review. Okay, so today's one is for Crochet's Stash Busters. It's got 25 great ways to use up your yarn leftovers or one ball or less. Finally, let's see if this is any good because I've got so much um, scrap yarn I need, look, I need to lose it and use it. Okay, so this book is by Nikki Trench. So come on, uh, let's go and see what the inside's like. So before we start, let me tell you, uh, this book would cost set you back £9.99 if you're in the UK. This is a, a, a book writ written in a UK terms. Okay, so let's open up and have a look at what they've got inside. Now, of course, I have a few of Nicky Trench's books up on my shelf, so I know roughly what to expect with his books, which is really, really handy. Um... <laughs> the the um, imagery on here is very nice, it's very bright and it's very bold um, and the instructions within the book is uh, um, really lovely as well so now let's get on to the next page we have an introduction explaining the book and how he made it and then we uh, move on to items now chapter one is for the home Sorry, I should say there is a title page at the front, but I skipped it. <laughs> I wanted to get in and see what's in this one. So, chapter one is for the home. Right, so the very first item up today is these bunny egg cosies. So, yep, they're definite yarn busters. You can get through them nice and quick. They're quite a nice design. Let me bring these a little closer. They are mug cosies. No, why? Never made a mug cosy? I don't know if I ever will. Um, this one here is a, a bubble cafeti cosy. I ate bubble, so <laughs> that's another one off my list. Oh, I'm in one of them moods. Sorry, gang. Right, we've got round, a stripy a cushion cover. If you want a pattern very similar to that, look at the unicorn. Um, blank, uh, the unicorn cushion, because... That is pretty much the same as my base with my unicorn cushion. And no, I didn't get the idea from this book. Never seen it before. Right, our next one is some placemats. Now these ones have got little flowers that are incorporated in them, I believe. Or you, I'm not 100%. You may have to sew them on. Let me have a quick look. Um... Yeah, you've got to sew it on. Right, the next item is a vintage style vase vase cosy. Okay, so hopefully you can see that pretty well. Yep. Then our next section is a chapter two, and this now is items for baby. And so the first item up is a, a beanie hat with a little boat on it. It's a basic beanie with a little motif. So it's quite nice and that's quite a simple one. Up next is a lilac booties. Followed by star stitch booties. Oh, the only problem with this book, it's a nice size so it's hard for me to actually get it in shot up close. Okay, oh, there we go. That's a better picture, isn't it? <laughs> Look at them little chubby thighs. Sorry, move to the next page. <laughs> Um, our next item up is the uh, baby pom-pom hat. I should explain, I have chalk and cheese children. One was born like a walking skeleton and the, one, the other one had chunky chunky thighs. Which was really nice because I wasn't so worried then. Right, our next one is a nursery coat hangers. So we've got them with um, is it chickens and what appears to be possibly a ladybird at the bottom here. 
Then we've got the Ophella baby bu um, buggy blanket. Okay, so as you can see here, it's a zigzaggy one, zigzag blanket. Then we're moving on to our bits and bobs. The first item up is a striped phone cosy. Next item up is our jam jar tea light cosies. And then we have these cheeky sets of floral bunting. And then we have some pin cushions, all done in slightly different colours there show you what it could look like then we have a, a crochet hook cozy oh. and here is a flower brooch i think that'll probably take about what 30 minutes to knock up based off the poppy's mind then we have a butterfly and a blossom key ring. Okay, and the image there is that one there. So that's how they've set that one up. Then we have our next chapter, which is toys. Oh, they've put safety eyes on and given it to a baby. Scary. Right, okay, the first one up is a pickle the puppy. Then we have got Melody the Kitten. There we go, Melody the Kitten. The next one up is Sparkles the Snowman. And this one, sorry, is Billy the Bear. Sorry, but no, <laughs> I've got a big thing about safety eyes and them not going to children under five. Um, I know that's my thing, um, but I see it as a safety issue. Um, the and next one here is sugar mice. And then you've got baby bouncers. The little crochet balls are perfect for tiny hands, lovely for babies to hold, throw or crawl after. And also good for practicing crocheting in the round as well as using up smaller remnants of yarn also if you use this pattern you could also um, make some decorations for your christmas tree okay and then of course at the end of the book it has got techniques as the rest of his books do this is how they're set up you see his books and then he's got an extra section here for the bandana for the dog and possibly some other templates for other items but I'm going to skip and close it up okay so for a, a quick look through it's not a bad little stitch buster um book but I'm sorry to say you could probably find pretty much all of these patterns on YouTube and save yourself the money um sorry Nikki <laughs> right on that note i'm gonna leg it now before i get told off um so i'm gonna say to you all stay chilled stay happy and keep crafting goodbye for now everybody